Krampus is this uh, legendary folkloric uh, Austrian, I think, um, a pagan demonic hooved creature, kind of like Santa's nemesis, in that he will punish those who've been bad through the year in the same way that Santa rewards those who've been good. That's what I love about it. I think it's completely original and tonally, you know, it's, a, it's funny and it has this kind of dry acerbic wit to it. And, and then it slides into something very different and it is very scary, but not in an overwhelming way. I, I, am, I can't live with the horror film kind of images in my head when I'm trying to go to bed at night. And this, this still kind of has a sense of humor, which I love. I'm kind of the matriarch of the family. And, um, you know, these are people who are so lost in their own worlds and they're not connecting. And I think what my character is trying to do in her very anal, perfectionist, forceful way is make everyone come together and she fails dismally. But what happens is this guy Krampus kind of lands, literally lands on their roof and they're forced to come together and unite and fight back. And in that way, they do bond. So her wish does come true. It's just not in the way that she had planned. Where to Workshop do the most incredible work. They're so inspirational to me. And yeah, and Mike Doherty was very clever because he didn't allow us to see the creatures until we were actually standing opposite them in a scene. And I think that that really helped imbue a kind of real sense of what is happening? Um, yeah, they were, they were, they were, they were slimy and scary and some of them had really active tongues and, <laughs> and they were fun. And it was really wonderful working with that, just with that element. Even though it's a, a, a funny horror film, it's actually got a beautiful um, message at the heart of it. It's, a, it's about a family who aren't connecting, um, learning to appreciate each other.